نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقطة من لساني يفقه قولي رب اسدني على المآمين يا رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, I would like to apologize for my voice I have a coughing problem today so please bear with me inshallah if i am not clear at any moment please do ask um, that i speak louder or that i make myself clear okay uh last session what we did we were doing negation and in negation we did we divided it into two sections negation of a jumla failure and negation of a jumla ismiya then what we did was we further divided jumla failure into five categories the purple boxes are the five categories or the five ways in which a jumla failure can be negated now we did the first three in our last session so inshallah we'll just uh, have a quick recap so that we can get to the two remaining uh, ways to negate jumla failure so that we can complete this topic so past tense fail uh, negation in past tense fail so when we want to negate jumla failure in a past tense fail there are two ways two tools that we can use the first is <clears throat> num lightest present tense fail right num with the lightest present tense after it although we use a present tense but as we know num pushes the meaning of the present tense into the past tense and it adds negation to the meaning as well as making the present tense after it lightest because we know that lam is the lightest uh, harf the second tool we can use in past tense is the past tense itself with ma nafia and we know ma nafia makes two meanings come into the sentence one of negation and the other of refutation so we won't say he did not help we will say no he did not help so that first no is for refutation and the second no or not in the translation is for negation so we have two tools for past tense then we have some tools for present tense too similarly when we want to negate in the present tense there are tools for that as well the first is la nafia now we have done the forbidding la and we have done the forbidding fail and over over there la makes the present tense coming after it lightest but here this is not la nahia not la of forbidding this is a simple la of negation which does not affect the present tense coming after it the present tense stays normal so la nafia with the normal present tense is translated as did not so i will correct this here as it isn't is not we are not doing jumla ismiya we are doing jumla failure so it will be did not so it does not i apologize does not okay la yansuru so the dhamma at the end is there which is showing you that this condition of the present tense is normal and when you have a normal present tense after la then it's simple negation nothing else to it it's simply no 
The second tool is again ma. Ma can be used with past tense to negate in the past tense and refute in the past tense. Similarly, ma can also be used with the present tense, and it also does not have any effect on the present tense, so it will be a normal present tense. So, and it will add refutation as well as negation into the meaning. So here we just we don't say he doesn't help. We say no, he doesn't help. The no here is for refutation and the does not is for negation. Any question till this point before we move on? No, Alhamdulillah. Oh, so I have shared these notes uh, in the groups. Please remind me if you haven't gotten it, remind me and I'll send it to you as well. Negation in the future then. So because we're dealing with Jumla failure, we're dealing with fail, we know that there are three time zones, past, present, and future. So we will do the future tense now. Now, negation of future tense. In negation of future tense, although you see none on the screen, but just to keep in mind, whatever tools we used in the present tense, negation, that is lanafia and manafia, can also be used for future tense. Because when we started out doing fail, we saw that there's a separate word with its own rules and everything for past tense. And then you have a separate word for present and future tense. So that fail mutare, the present tense fail, can be used for present as well as future tenses. So that's why the tools we use to negate present tense in the, um, in the negation of present tense are the same tools that will be used in the negation of future tense as well, uh, which we saw last time with the examples from the Quran. But other than those two, ma nafia and la nafia, you've got two more tools that are used to negate in the future tense, which are only used for the future tense. That is number one, lan. Lan we know is a light harf. It makes the present tense coming after it into light. And in the meaning, you have two things future tense and negation. So will not is the translation of lan. So whenever you see lan with a light modare, light present tense, the meaning will always have will not in it. Okay? And this is the manafia and the lanafia that we were talking about. The context of the ayah inshallah will help us translate the mudare appropriately, whether in the present tense or in the future tense. And the last tool for future tense negation was lamma. And we know that lamma is the lightest herb in lam lamma walfalli. Lamma has two meanings. Lama, when it comes with the lightest present tense, the meaning is not yet. But Lama also comes with the present tense, sorry, with the past tense. But with the past tense, there is no negation. It just means when. But with the present tense, you've got not yet. So that is a form of negation. Okay. Sister, this is past tense with the lama also or lam? No, lama. Lama comes with present tense as well as past tense, oh, okay. but the meaning changes accordingly. Okay. Lama, uh, if you go to the 10 day intensive Nahun uh, workbook, mm -hmm. you will see over there uh, the lightest herf list given. I don't know if it's page 51 or 52 
or 50, I, I can't remember right now. The list also gives the meanings of the huruf. So, mm -hmm. lamma eh, with the present tense will always mean not yet. And lamma with the past tense will always mean when. When? Okay. Yes, when. Okay. So there is no negation over there. That's why it's not mentioned in negation. Okay. Just a second. Oh, yeah. Okay, now let's go to the new topic. This is another tool used to negate a Joomla failure. And this is used with past tense or present tense, both, right? Both can come. And the meaning that it generates is X did or does, because past and present both can be used. X did or does nothing but Y. So this is also one of the tools that we will also do with Joomla Ismiya. So Ma and Ella, in and Ella can come with anything just Keep this in mind, just to remember, help you remember that ma and illa and in and illa within a jumla failure can come with past tense and present tense, but they are also used for negation in both jumla failure as well as jumla ismia. Now we will see jumla ismia later on when we do the jumla ismia negation, inshallah. So here you've got in or ma nafia. Now this in, this in is not the lightest in. Please keep this in mind. This in is called nafia. It is used for negation. And if a present tense comes after it, it stays normal. Everybody got that point? Yes. This is in nafia. We've done a couple of types of in. So in lightest, right? And then in nafia. We're going to do others as well. So here in and ma followed by a fail. Then followed by illa. Illa means except. Okay. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yes. yes. Is this fail any fail? It can be mazi or mudare. Yes. You see the meaning here? Did and does. Okay. Okay. So did and does. So both can come. Past and present tense. Which is followed by illa. Illa is the word of exception. Ustad also said this. It is the word of exception. Whenever you want to say accept this or accept that while in talking or while converse, uh, in conversation, illa is the word to use. Plus the rest of Jumla Felia Whatever part of Jumla failure is coming will come after illa. So this is the template. This is how the sentence will be formed. And then this is the meaning. And one way to check whether it is a tool of negation, whether ma and in are nafia, if we remove in and ma and illa, the remaining sentence will still make sense, right? Like for example, illa They all are nothing but uttering or saying falsehoods. So if I remove in and illa, yakuluna kadiba. They are saying falsehood or they are uttering falsehoods. So the meaning is 
understandable the meaning is complete but in an illa just add nothing but to the meaning so this is nothing but right they do not they do nothing but lie another translation of this would be they do nothing but lie for so, both mine yes. in, uh, for both mine in yes okay. yes both are nafia mm -hmm. so both will have the same meaning okay. similarly we have another example ma yakhdauna illa anfusahum they do not deceive anyone but themselves right so here if i remove mine illa yakhdaun anfusahum they deceive themselves that also makes sense so in this way you can know that this ma is manafia just see if there is illa coming later on in the same sentence right it doesn't mean that you see ma in in, in one aya and you're seeing illa after a couple of ayas and you then translate it accordingly no it should be in the same sentence okay so it should be one by one right like in plus fail plus illa yes okay. that is the construction of this negation why Any more questions in this or shall we continue to the next tool? This is done. Yeah, continue, sister. Okay. Just keep reviewing, inshallah. You will start to see these patterns, these uh, these formulas, if you if you want to call them that, in the Quran, inshallah, and then you can translate them accordingly. Yeah, many times in Quran we get confused in Maka. So now we got one tool that exactly. is La. then you can know if it's Ma Mazdariya or Ma Mausula or Ma Nafia. So this is another way that will, makes it easier for us to know exactly. Yeah. So these are some of the ways that the meanings can be done. There is no hard and fast meaning for every time in my illa come. Although we did both of them the same way, and you can do that, but they are also translated in different ways, as Stad mentioned in one of his sessions. So it is nothing but, if it's a general idea, negating something, right? Negating a whole category, but except an exception so that's why illa is used creating a really strong exclusivity so you are saying nothing but this will do or nothing but this is being done so then that really makes it that that's the only thing that is being done and nothing else is being done so it's a form of exclusivity as well in the meaning, right? This is not the form of sentence that we did exclusive sentences. That is not what is being talked here. It's just that the meaning makes it exclusive. This man did or is doing uh, nothing but lie. All this man did or does is lie. So there's a, there are multiple ways of translating a single formation in negation or in any other form of sentence. And that is being done in the compound isms that we're doing. Can you just give me a second, please?
Jazak al khair for your patience. I apologize. Okay. And this can be also translated as all you did or do is lie. You did or do nothing but lie. So whatever the context of the sentence, that is how we can translate it in a multiple ways. So if you see ma in and illa with a fail after ma and in and before illa and it is translated a little differently, don't think that the translation is wrong or the translation is grammatically incorrect. It is just translated in another way. Is this clear? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now this is a concept that is both new and complicated and it has a thought process behind it which if not followed is hard to understand. And min zayda is used for negation. We did one more letter that was zayda before. Can anybody remember what was the letter zayda that we did before? Ba zayda. Exactly. It was in the negation of Jumla Ismiya, Ma and Laisa. We did ba zayda. And uh, that ba zayda was there to make more emphasis in the meaning, right? So we did um, ma, uh, we did laisa taliban, right? And we said that that is the lowest form or degree of negation and then so forth and so on. So when we add ba to the sentence, it just means more negation. There's more stress to the negation, more emphasis on the negation over there in a jumla ismiya. So here, min zayda is used for negation. Okay, so we'll go through this. Another tool of negation shared by both jumla failia as well as jumla ismiya. So this is another tool that we will study with jumla failia as well as jumla is and one thing to remember that in jumla failure min zaida either comes with a file right which is an ism or a mafu okay Min Zaida will always be attached to either a file or a mahul in a jubla failure. The only trick or the only question that we have is to decide whether Min is being attached to the file or the mahul. That is the only question that we need to answer. Otherwise, min zaida cannot come with a fail. Is this point clear? Yes. Okay. So I'll just uh, add the screen I want to show you by writing. So I'm going to get the, yeah, okay. Let me just change this screen uh, because this needs a little understanding. So I'd like to write it down, whiteboard. Okay, can everybody see the screen, the whiteboard? Yes. Okay. So, first of all, Min Zaida is an extra 
letter right like bazaida it is from the hoj list and it makes the ism attached to it take a kasra right although the meaning will not be of the min harf of jar the effect is the same okay Now let's. How come it's? What is the meaning it's gave? Like negative. Yes. Um, uh, it gives the meaning of nothing, or nothing. no, or none. Okay. Right. Not even. That is no. the meaning. Not even. so not even none right or um yeah so meanings to this effect right mm -hmm. like we say she doesn't even have a book mm -hmm. right or right. um no no leaves fall or none of the leaves fell right just simply negation negating something so that is the meaning that's why min zaida is used for negation it makes emphasis on the negation mm -hmm. right it should come only with a fire or mafo yes and how to find out whether because min plus any ism will have what kasra on it right yes and um, it's in a way majroor right not in the grammatical sense but of course there will be a kasra on it so we know that file is rafa and maful yes. is nasab mm -hmm. so how will we be able to know whether this ism is a file or a maful that It is what we have to learn mm -hmm. that is the process that we have to learn and okay. that is given in the book and of course in the stazis session and once you get once you understand how it works it's pretty easy to find out right okay. because min zaida in jumla ismiya is the easiest it always comes with the mubtada that's it there is no guessing over there you know it's coming with the mubtada right mm -hmm. it's just for us to find out number 1 whether the min coming in the sentence is harf of jar or zaida mm -hmm. right these are the two things that we need to find in a jumla failure uh whether h or j or zaida decide what type of min it is right Mm -hmm. and the second question in jumla failure is if it is min zaida whether it is coming with file or maful right okay. these are the two questions that we need to understand how minzaida works in a jumla failure okay okay so we'll do the example it's in the quran तो 
okay. Now this is an ayah, ma taskutu min waraqa. Ma taskutu, right? It means it does not fall. And waraqa means leaf. So no leaf falls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. So this is manafia. Yeah. Right? This is from Sakata. Yes, Kutu. So for this min zaida, you need to know your verbs. Okay. Yeah. Sukutan. You know when we say uh, the fall of Constantinople, like somebody conquered a place. So sukut is used for that. When someone some place falls under another army's rule or another ruler's rule. So sakata yaskotu sukutan to fall. This is the meaning of this. So staskotu is fail mudare. And this is normal fail mudare. Right? Yes. And the inside doer is you. Yes. Now we have to decide whether there's a file or a phone or whatever. We'll do that. But first here, we know this is here version. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Because here you doesn't come, uh, doesn't make sense in the meaning. Mm -hmm. So it can't be anta. <clears throat> okay? Okay. Now, if we see at first glance, this will be looking uh, like H-O-J. Yes. Min. And the ism after is, is majroor. Mm -hmm. So the first step to finding whether the min you're seeing is half of jar, <coughs> excuse me, or min zaida. The first step is number one. First condition is the sentence has to be a negation mm -hmm. or a question having a question word in the beginning so whether min is harf of jar or Zaida, mm -hmm. we have to recognize, we have to answer the first question. Remember, we wrote two questions here. First question is H or J or Zaida. So we are trying to figure out whether the mill that we are seeing in the ayah is H or J or Zaida. So for that, right, the first step is to see whether the meaning or the sentence is negation or a question. So is this sentence a negation or a questioning sentence? Negation. It is negation. So there is a possibility that the min in the sentence might be min zaida. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we're talking about negation. Min zaida can only come in negation or question. Okay? Okay. 
So this is the first step. Let me just erase this. We'll come back to this later. So here we know that this is negation sentence. So there is a possibility. Now the second question to ask or the second step that we need to do in order to decide whether this min is min zaida or min of harf of jar is that we will translate it in both ways. So min zaida will be no and min harf of jar will be from. This is the meaning, right? Min yes. means from. Mm -hmm. So ma tasputu, it does not fall min from varakatin alif. Does this make sense? It does not fall from a leaf. Uh, I did not understand the second one. Okay. Let me show you. Wait. How do I show you without losing this? Hmm. If there is min zaida in the meaning, Remember, we said not even, mm -hmm. none. Nothing. This is the meaning that will make sense if it is min zaida. Oh, okay. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. But if it is min of harf of jar, then this meaning will make sense from. Yeah. So here, the ayah, it's in the notes, inshallah. I'm just reading it out to give you um, an idea of which uh, translation will make sense. So let's write both the translations. So number one translation would be min half of jar. Okay. So it is it does not fall Min varakatin from a leaf. Okay. This is the translation that will be correct if this is min harf of jar, which means from. See, so you have from in the meaning. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to read the whole meaning of the ayah. With this translation, you tell me whether it makes sense or not. Mm -hmm. He holds the keys to the unseen. No one, none knows them but he. He has knowledge of all that of all the land and sea, of all that the land and sea contain. It does not fall from a leaf, nor is there a single grain in the darkness of the earth or anything wet or dry, but is recorded in a clear record. Does this translation make sense with the ayah? Yes. yes. It makes sense. I don't think probably should be in this. It doesn't make sense. You see the style of the ayah from the beginning to the end. He holds the keys to the unseen. None knows them but he. He has knowledge of all that land and sea contain. So a leaf, it does not fall from a leaf. It is not in line with what is being talked about. It, the concept is that Allah knows everything. Every mm -hmm. little thing everywhere. And in the middle of that, he says, it does not fall from a tree, from a leaf. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. No. But if we translate it as min zaida, none. Right? So we will know that ma taskutu min warakatin. 
No leave or none, not even. I leave false, right? Not even none. Mm -hmm. Does this make more sense with the ayah or does this? Second one makes more sense. Sorry? Second one makes more sense. Not even yes. in, like ma, it's a zaida. Yes. So now you know that this min is min zaida and this isn't isme majroor. What this is, we will decide that is our next step. But first, we have to differentiate between min harf of jar and min zaida. So there are two steps to it. The first step we saw that the sentence has to be negation, right? Mm -hmm. Or question. So is this sentence a negation or a question? Negation. Yes, because of ma, right? Mm -hmm. So first step is done that this can be min zaida, but we need to be confirmed in our disease decision. We need to decide correctly. So then there's a second step. And mm -hmm. the second step is to see which translation fits the aya best. Is it the min zaida translation of none, not even? Or is it the min harf of jar translation from? Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So that's why it's very important for us to know the vocabulary and how to see whether the sentence is negation or a question to decide whether the min that we are seeing is a harf of jar or a zaida. Okay. So I'm just going to st stop for a minute. We we'll go, go through the both the steps. If you have any question, please ask. Sure. This is going to get some getting used to. So no worries, we are not in any hurry. Inshallah, mm -hmm. inshallah, we'll have another session tomorrow. So we'll continue right from here. So first step, in order to recognize min zaida in a jumla failure is whether the sentence is a negation okay. sentence or a question sentence, right? Mm -hmm. And we yes. know question sentences are easy to spot because they have the words of questioning in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Hal, a, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And the rest of the, the ones that we did, I think, was it in chapter five or six? I think it was in six, at the end of chapter six or seven that we did a smai stifham. So please go back, check it out. Remember those words that will help you in recognizing whether a sentence is um, questioning or not. So that's the first step. When you see min zaida, you will do we will do, first, we will see whether the sentence is a negation or a question. Then, here we know it's a negation. We have ma nafia, so that's negation for you. So, our next step will be to see which of the min will fit here. If it's min half of jar, then it's a simple Mutalik will fail, MBF, after a fail. But if the meaning of from does not sit uh, well, is does not seem correct in the context of the ayah, 
and none or no or not even that is a better translation then we will know that this is min zaida we'll we have another example also inshallah this we will practice again any questions till now Sister, if we want to look like a muffle and file, how we can? That is the next step. Okay. Because the question of it means either coming with a file or muffle will only be there once you decide whether min is min zaida or, or not. Okay. If it's not min zaida and it is a min of harf of jar, then the ism coming after it is simply an ism majroor, right? Yes. So the question of fail or file or mafool will only be there if we have decided once and for all that the min here is min zaida. So now our first step of recognizing min zaida is done. We have concluded that here ma taskotu min warakatin, the min here is min zaida. It is not a min half of jar. So now we move on to our next question. Right? So I'll write the aya again. Ma tasputu. Miwarakatin. Okay. So now we know that this is manafia. This is here version fili mudare. And because this is min zaida, this ism can be file or mafool. This is not ismi majroo. The ism coming after a harf of jar is called ismi majroo. But here we don't have min harf of jar. We have min zaida. So the ism after it is file or mafool. Is this part clear? Yes. Okay. I can stop for a minute here if you want to see, review the last slide. Because if the first part is not clear, of course, the second part will not be. Shall I proceed? Yes, anybody was asking a question? Okay. So, manafia, right? Then min zaida. This we decided in the first step when we recognized min zaida. So, here now, the, our last part, our last task is to see whether the ism coming after min zaida is a file or a mafool. And how will we do that? Here your self knowledge will come handy. Okay. And alhamdulillah, we are about to start surf with Ustad. So inshallah, that will strengthen our knowledge about surf. And it will make it easier for us to see whether this is file or mafool. So how does an ism become a file or mafool? File with the rafa. Yes, it comes after a fail, right? Yes. 
Reninism comes after a fail. So if it's a doer file, it's Rafa. Mm -hmm. And if it's a detail, Maful, Nasab. It is Nasab, right? Mm -hmm. So what decides this? The fail. So for this part, our whole focus will be on this yes. word. The fail-e mudare in the sentence. The, the word that is making this sentence a jumla failure, that is our focus. Okay? Okay. Now, why is this our focus? We'll see. In the beginning, I wrote Sakata. Yes, Koto. Sukutan. And what was the meaning? To fall. To fall. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, how do you decide about the phylum of fool? The first step is number one, add someone or something to it. Does this make sense? Yes. Someone oh, for that makes sense. No. To fall. Someone or something? No. Oh, okay. Fedalazim. Yes. We have to see whether it is transitive. Intransitive. Or intransitive. Why? To look for the maful. Exactly. Because transitive can have file or maful. Mm -hmm. But Intransitive can only have file. file. So it will be easier to see whether the ism coming after it can be file or maful. If it is intransitive, mm -hmm. then there is no question of maful. So as the skutu is intransitive, what does that leave us with? What will this word be? It's a, a file. Exactly. Because Taskotu cannot have a mafool. Female. Uh -huh. Right? Transitives cannot have mafool behaves. Yes. So automatically you have come to know that this fail is a file. File. So here, min zaida is attached to a file. File. That's it. So that's why this is the outside file which is fi mahalli rafa. So now the meaning is no leaf, not even a single leaf, not even a single leaf falls without his knowledge. Does this make sense? Yes. So this is how we will recognize Min Zaida in a Jumla failure. It is a long process. It is a new process. It is difficult. But inshallah, with practice and review, we can understand it. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. Sister, what we should write in like third condition? 
the conditions we write one one is like a sentence has to be negation or question word and the first one is uh, whether the sentence is a negation or a question mm -hmm. the second one is half of jar or min zaida is min half of jar or zaida yes we will translate it both ways and see which one makes more sense mm -hmm. And the right. third one, this is the my third one. one is whether the ism coming after Minzaida is a file or a moful bihi. Okay. <coughs> okay, so this example was with a file. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will continue and we'll do the more full example as well. So we know how to do both. Mm -hmm. Right? So any questions in this? And please uh, go through it. Go through the video, inshallah. I'll post it soon with the notes. So uh, if you have any questions, please ask them. And uh, I don't remember the day when you started Minzaida, but uh, we can look it up in the time stamps or on the site and you can review with him as well. He has explained it step by step and it is in the book as well. So you have the notes, the book and the session. So inshallah, these are enough for you to understand this concept. Sure. So only one uh, part of this is left and then inshallah from tomorrow, we'll be able to start negation in Jumla Ismiya, which is very, very easy because we have done the Ma and Laisa before in Illa and Ma Illa they are almost the same, but just with an ism. And min zaida is extremely easy because it always comes with bhaktada. So we'll inshallah see that. And it's way easier than the fail, jumla failure. Any more questions? <coughs> no, sister. Everything is clear. Thank you so much. Jazakallah. Alhamdulillah. So inshallah, uh, we'll end the recording here. And then, inshallah, we'll uh, resume tomorrow. So let me just end the recording. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.